What is forward confinement and how does bus of state occur? Let's try to figure out answer to this question in our today's video. Hello everyone, welcome to Link Frequency and I'm Ashwara Patta. This video is part of our course that is introduction to AutoSAP. So without any further delay, let's get started. The fault confinement is the checking mechanism that makes it possible to distinguish between the short disturbances and permanent failures. If any node transmits or receives continuous fault frame, then it will discontinue itself from the CAN network after a certain threshold limit is reached if the fault is not recovered. The errors like acknowledgement error, CRC error, form error, bit error or stuff error can be present which we have already discussed in our previous video. If the frame is corrupted with any of the errors as indicated, then the node will transmit the error flag. Once a threshold is reached for the error count, the node gets disconnected from the network. To decide this particular threshold, every node has two error counters that is transmit error counter and receive error counter which keeps the track of error that is generated. Let's understand about both of them individually. The first one is transmit error counter that is TEC. It counts the number of transmission errors detected in the frame that the ECU sends. It acts like a normal counter which ranges from 0 to 255. Now moving on to the second one that is receive error count that is REC. It counts the number of reception errors detected on the frame that the ECU receives. Its value range from 0 to 127. The increment or decrement of the TEC or REC counter value depends on whether the error happened in the transmitter ECU or the receiver ECU. If there is any error detected in either of them, the counter value is incremented. Based on the value of TEC and REC state of the CAN node, the three possible states of the CAN node can be represented on the screen. The first one is active error, second one is passive error and lastly the bus of error. Let's understand about each errors individually. The first one is active error state. If the TEC and REC count is less than 127, it means that the CAN is in the error active state. By default, all CAN controller will be in the error active mode. In the error active state, a CAN node is functioning normally and is actively participating in the communication on the bus. The node can transmit and receive messages without any issue. It can raise the error active flag when detecting an errors. Moving on to the next state that is error passive state. If either the transmit error counter or receive error counter is greater than 127 and the TEC value is less than 255, then the CAN device goes into passive error state. In this state, the CAN node is still able to transmit data, but now it raises a passive error flag when detecting errors. Moving on to the last state that is bus of state. If the TEC that is transmit error count of the CAN controller exceeds the value 255, then it goes to a bus of state. In this state, the CAN node disconnects itself from the CAN bus and it can no longer transmit data or raise any error flags. When a node goes into a bus of state, it means that it has been automatically disconnected from the CAN network by the CAN controller. This state is triggered by the node's error detection and fault confinement mechanism. This can happen due to various reasons such as electrical faults, excessive error rates or other issues that disrupt the proper functioning of the CAN communication. In this state, the node cannot transmit or receive message on the bus until the issue is resolved and the node is reset or reinitialized. In order to reconnect back to the network, a recovery sequence has to be executed. This involves the reinitialization and configuration of the CAN controller by the host system. After the reinitialization, it will wait for 128 into 11 recessive byte times before it commences communication again. So, this was all about the three states that are involved in the fault confinement. For any queries related to fault confinement or bus up condition, you can surely comment down in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching our video content. If there are any queries related to the video, you can surely comment down in the comment section. Until we meet on our next video, happy learning. Tune yourself to make a difference.